Hi Stokies, Craig here from Bear Pit TV and this is my preferred 11 for tomorrow's game against Tottenham at White Hart Lane. I mean, I'm under no illusion that this is an extremely difficult game. Um, I heard the other day actually that Spurs have conceded five goals at home all season just to make the task seem even more difficult than it is. One little bit of solace I am going to take is that obviously Stoke were out of the FA Cup. Of course, we're not in Europe. Spurs, since we last played a game, have played three games. They've played Ghent twice and Fulham in the FA Cup. That has to mean something. That really, really does. There's no way that um, a team that's played a three additional 90 minutes can compete as well as a team that's had a decent, decent rest. And a rest in Dubai in that warm weather training and all the rest of it. I think that has to play into Stoke's advantage. So, I mean, that's a little bit of solid to take into the game. Anyway, my first 11 is going to be Grant in that, of course. Centre-backs of Shawcross and Martins Indy. Uh, Left-back is Eric Peters. Right-back will be Phil Bardsley, who's shaken off an injury to be available and fit. In front of the defence, a really difficult one. I really toiled for a while with this decision. I'm going to go with Glenn Whelan. Obviously, he always starts for me. The other position was between Charlie Adam and Afalai. I really wasn't sure which one to go for. In the end, I'm going to go for Afalai, purely because I think he's unbelievable. I think he's one of our when fit, better players. He retains the ball. He's smart. He's clever. His passing is neat and accurate. So I'm going to go with Glenn Whelan and Afalai just in front of the defence. Moving further forward, I'm going to go with Joe Allen. He's coming for a little bit of stick recently, which I think is unfair. And for a game where we are going to be up against it, you need someone if nothing else, he's going to work his bollocks off, and that will be Joe Allen. He's got to track and cover the gaps and bridge the gap between defence and attack. And I can't think of a player of a better engine uh, to play that position. Whether he's maybe not been as accurate with his passing and general um, ball playing at the moment, that's questionable. But there's one thing we will definitely get from Joe Allen, and that is extreme work rate, and that is what we definitely need. The front three. I am going to go with Berahino. I think Crouch has obviously been playing well and I feel a tad harsh dropping him. And in some circumstances, I wouldn't have dropped him. But Tottenham away, we're going to be up against it. It's going to have to be a sort of game we have to break. We have to break with pace. And I think Crouch himself will admit he is not the pace to players. I think we all acknowledge that. So if and when we get the opportunity to attack, we've got to find the space to exploit. And Crouch won't do that. Berahino, Berahino rather, has got pace, so he naturally should start directly up front. Um, the two wings, I hear that Shaq's available now. I think he's been out for about, what, four weeks or so. He's finally back, he's available to play, he's ready. However, I will not start Shaq because there's no way you can drop Sobi. Arnie will start because he's Arnie, he's one of our, well he's our best player, on his day Arnie's our best player and he still isn't in the position to be dropped. Shaq, for me, he's inconsistent, I still feel that and there's no way you can drop Sobi after his last performance against Palace where he was arguably man of the match, he's fantastic, he really, really was and something that's quite good about Sobi is even for a young player, he's got a level of maturity that I didn't expect, he's not the sort of player that will attempt to take on and skin players in stupid positions if it's not on he'll be clever he'll square the ball to a stoke player and he won't be daft in possession and that's something we certainly need and at the same time when Shaq seems to get the ball in advanced position i always think he's very careless he often gets shrugged off the ball he's despite his kind of stature he's not that strong uh, so yeah so be to start so there's my first 11 to recap quickly i've gone for grant in there sure crossing india center backs peters and bardsley as full backs just in front of them two, I'm going to go with Glenn Whelan and Afalai. Further forward, Joe Allen. Then a front three of Berahino, Anatovic and Sobi. Drop the video a like. Drop it a comment. Let me know if you disagree or agree with my first 11. What would you go with instead if you disagree? And we'll see you tomorrow where we're going to be in for a very, very difficult game. Fingers crossed we can pull it out of the bag though.